This video is going to cover the basics of conditional versioning in Active Demand's email marketing platform. The concept of conditional versioning is quite simple. Let's say you're going to send a newsletter to your entire contact database, yet there are specific elements of the newsletter that are only appropriate to subsets of the entire database. Instead of creating several campaigns, each targeting a subset of the database, with conditional versioning, you can send one campaign and create several versions of the email, each one customized for the audience that's going to receive it. The first step of this campaign is to create the entire newsletter that is targeting one of the subsets of your entire database. For example, let's say I have customers and prospects. The customers and prospects are both going to get the newsletter that covers what's new with the company as well as some of the new product enhancements or features that are going to be released. But for the prospects, we're going to introduce a deep discount if they sign up this week. Clearly that offer is only something that is useful for people who have not bought, so why waste the time of the readers who are currently your customers? So we'll build the entire newsletter that uh, is going to be addressing both of the subsets of the contact database, the customers and the prospects. Then we will create an alternate version that introduces the offer of the deep discount if they sign up this week. So to begin with, we see, build the campaign like this. We finish the entire newsletter that's going to go to, again, the uh, customers. And this will be the customers version. And once I've finished this email, and it's important to finish the email before we actually create an alternate version because once I create an alternate version, it's literally going to copy the entire email in its current state for the second version. So if we imagine this email is completed, we'll create an alternate version. We're going to choose up here. This new version will be sent to a subset of an entire list, and this will be to prospects. Once the alternate version is created, you'll see a drop down up here that'll list the two versions that we have, the original version and the second version, which is the one we're going to customize specifically for prospects. And you'll see down on the right, a new accordion element shows up. The conditional versioning accordion will show all of the versions of the email that we have created. In this case, there's only two. There's the first one, which we're going to send to customers. And the second version is going to be sent to prospects. So to select the subset, if you see, there's also a new tab on the prospects version, which allows you to create a query that will select the subset of the entire contact database that's going to get this version of the email. And if you have multiple versions, again, you can just keep clicking the create alternate version. It'll keep creating new versions of the email that you're going to customize. And for each version, you'll set up the logic as to what is the subset of the people that are going to get this specific version. So for this version, we're going to target prospects. So if we have our prospects tagged as prospects, then basically what this query says, any contacts in the entire list that we're sending who have a tag name of prospects will get this version of the email. And if I click show results, it'll show everybody who is in the current contact list that meets this criteria. And as I'm still starting my campaign, I haven't actually selected my contact list yet. So the reality is if I click this button, nobody will show up. So once I have my entire campaign built and I have the contact list selected, if I go into this version and click show results, it'll show all of the people who meet the criteria of having a tag name equal prospects and are in the, uh, the existing contact list. So it's important to understand in conditional versioning that the contacts are filtered in the order they appear in the conditional versioning list. So basically what Active Demand does is it looks for all of the people who meet the criteria in the send logic for the first email. And anybody who doesn't meet the criteria, it then falls through to whoever's in the second slot. In this case, there's only two slots. So whoever doesn't have a tag of prospects will get the version that is set here. So for example, I'll add another version. And this version is going to be sent to folks that are actually resellers. So I'm going to create another version, and this time I'm going to send it to the group of people that are resellers of my product. 
Note here that you no longer have the option to select between split testing and conditional versioning, as you can either choose to do split testing or conditional versioning with a specific campaign. In the first step, I made the choice of making a alternate version that will be used to be sent to a subset of the entire list. Hence, when I create another alternate version, this time as well, the only option I'm going to have is to send it to a subset of the list. And as you see here, we now have the third version. And this version is going to be the one that's sent to resellers. And again, we go to the send logic. And in here, we want to as well select the folks that meet some criteria that indicate that they're resellers. So here we're selecting folks that are tagged with a resellers tag. So again, we now have two conditional versions. The first one is prospects, and that was looking for people who are tagged with prospect. And second, we're going to filter out people who are uh, tagged as resellers. And each of these people are going to get a separate version of the email. And finally, anybody who doesn't meet these two criteria will fall through and get this one, which we're assuming are customers. So really, we can go in and again, these are individual emails completely. The subject lines are unique. The pre-headers, whatever we make a change, whenever we make a change on any of the elements of this email, again, that is the version that's going to be sent to the subset that, it, that meets this specific criteria here. So and I can switch between any of these things and choose again. I can edit, uh, uh, make edits to any of the three emails. So there are now three distinct versions of the email and the version is going to be sent to the folks that meet the criteria that are set up in the queries. And like I mentioned, the queries are processed in order as they show up in this list. So the entire list, there's going to be a, a query that's made here that looks for the folks that meet the criteria prospects, and those people are going to be filtered out. Then whoever's left, there's going to be this query, and they're going to look at the folks that meet the criteria of resellers, and then anybody in the list who doesn't meet the criteria of the first two will fall through and get the third version of the email. And as mentioned, you can reorder these by just dragging and dropping just to, if, for example, let's say some of your uh, resellers are prospects. Clearly, we want them to be processed first here and then the resellers down here. So once we have our entire set of emails created and our campaign is complete, you'll be brought to this screen. And in this screen, you can go in and edit the emails to, again, edit the three different versions that we've created, edit the query criteria, etc. So for example, maybe the one that we're going to send to customers, we're going to send them a special message. Here's what's new. Very, very important to understand this. There are three versions of the email now. Each version is distinct and they are not linked in any way. And again, the idea is, is it's one campaign. We send it to three different groups of people and each group gets their own version of the email. Conditional versioning simplifies the process of sending targeted content to several groups of people at one time because really what we're trying to do is improve campaign performance for a specific campaign and in this case this may be a technical newsletter update or something of the sort. So the idea here is, is we're trying to give custom content to each individual group of people inside your database so that they are happy to receive your email and keep engaging with your organization. So hopefully with this video, you've seen that creating custom content for every group of people who are in your contact database is very easy with conditional versioning.